Hi guys, welcome back. Please ignore the sleeping, adorable toddler in the background. Um, it's just past your bedtime. And I have to film this intro. So, let's get into it. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this paint. I've seen it a lot on Pinterest and around the internet and other various places. It's a non-toxic edible spice paint so it's really um aromatic aromatic and what that be the right word so it has a good scent it smells like spices it's really simple you can literally use any spice that you want to really so the really nice thing about this project is it's super easy to make and really simple all you need are water cornstarch flour, the spices if you're choosing, and depending on how vivid you want your paint to come out, you can use color dye. We did end up using food dye, and the nice thing too about using food dye is you don't have to use specific spices because you're just going to dye it anyway. We did try to keep the color of our spices similar to the color that we are going to create with the paint, so like we use basil for green paint and cinnamon for red paint. You get it. The spices that we use specifically will be down below as well as the direction or the specific the specific ingredient lists on exactly what you need. The thing that I didn't really like so much about this paint was that it was really thin and watery. I didn't know how to thicken it up. So if you do know more about paint and how I could thicken it up, please leave that down below in the comment section. Otherwise these are a really good water paint to use for like watercoloring. Um, I would suggest using watercolor paper or we had some watercoloring canvas sheets that she used to paint on. We did test it out and I have a video that will be coming out in a couple of days of Aria painting with new paints. So if you subscribe, you'll be notified as soon as that video comes out. And without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get right into it, guys. So the first step is to get a small to medium sized mixing bowl to make the base of your paint. You're going to need water, one teaspoon of cornstarch for every color of paint you plan to make. So we were making five colors and we used five teaspoons. You're also going to need flour and it's the same ratio, it's one tablespoon to every color of paint that you're going to make. So we of course added five tablespoons of flour to our mixture and then once you have everything together in your bowl you are going to whisk it all together. Alright, and then once you guys have thoroughly mixed your ingredients together, you're going to pour them into separate containers so that you can make your individual paints. We used these little Tupperware from the dollar store, which ended up being really handy. So in the beginning, I did make my paints specific to what the direction said, but I found later on that I didn't need to use the exact ratio, I kind of just guessed. And then you're going to want to mix it all together. I had a hard time mixing it with a spoon, so I put a lid on the Tupperware and let Aria go at it and shake it, and she really enjoyed it. And here I just go on to make the rest of the colors. There will be description in the description bar exactly what colors you need and spices and everything.
Alright guys, so I really hope that you enjoyed this video of Ari and I making homemade spice paints. Don't forget to subscribe so you'll be notified when the next video comes out where we test the paints and see how well they work.